everyone. Welcome to Enlightened Words Save Souls Devotion with Rhapsody of Realities. The topic for today is called Serve God in Righteousness and Holiness. I'm going to be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Though scripture and the devotion reads, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead. Be ye reconciled to God. From the verse I just read, we see that the Apostle Paul's careful use of words. In verse 18 he said, We have been given the ministry of reconciliation. Then he presses home the importance of this ministry of reconciliation, urging the current church to take the message to the world. But Paul was after something else as well, which he communicates to them. After asseverating the importance of reconciling men to God, he went on to his next subject and says, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. When he said, we are ambassadors for Christ, he wasn't referring to the whole church of Christ. Rather, he was referring to himself and his companions who were with him, such as Timothy, with whom he wrote this letter. He counseled the Corinth church to be reconciled to God. The same people he had told to reconcile the world to God are now being told to be reconciled to God. Why? It's because they had not been living right. Therefore he says to them, Just as the Spirit has said, Go to the people of the world and reconcile them to God. He also saying to you, Repent and be reconciled to God. This is important. Because as God's people, we're encouraged to be involved in the work of the ministry. To take the message of salvation to the unsaved and reconcile men to God. But while you're at it, live a life that's pleasing to the Lord. Christianity is a call to righteousness and a walk in righteousness. Don't live in sin. The Bible says sin shall not have dominion over you. Serve God in holiness and righteousness. Stay in the word and practice your Christianity, regardless of the pressures. Live the life of a righteous person every day. That's the end of the devotion for today. But here is a little prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for imparting to us the nature of righteousness such that we're able to live a righteous life. We walk in righteousness and produce works and fruits of righteousness. We are light in the dark world, light in the paths of sinners, that they may see and be ushered into the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Now before I go, I will extend an invitation to those who have not yet received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. It says in Romans chapter 10 verse 13, Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And if you heard about the message of Jesus, and if you believe in what you heard, and you have not yet received Jesus Christ, today is your day. It's not by feelings or emotions, but it's by faith and belief in your heart that you believe and you want to receive him. Say this prayer after me. Say, O Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe he died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised him from the dead And he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. I receive by faith eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. 
I believe I have eternal life now. I am a child of God. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer behind me, believe me, God heard you, he answered you, and you are saved. Congratulations, you're born again. No longer would you ever have to live under the bondage of Satan, because you belong in the hands of the Lord now. And you will receive the goodness of the Lord even more now than ever because you're ambassador of Christ. And now that you're ambassador of Christ, you could go ahead and reconcile men unto God. Now, I hope you have a great, wonderful rest of your day. Talk to you all soon.